Righteous people live by faith and not by fear of men. I understand that most Christians will tell you they have faith, and I understand that they say that they fear God. But when it comes down to it, most people fear men. They don't want to lose their positions in the world. They fear losing their job because they think their own fingers provide for their mouths. They fear what their family would think and what their friends would think if they went out on a limb. That is why so many Christians cannot have faith even though they say they have faith and even though they say they fear God. They trust their own arms, their own flesh. They trust their friends, their pastors, their churches. They hold on to the community and the beliefs of the world system even though it is against God, they fear men. They won't confess that, but they do. If they really feared God, they would be despised by the world. They most likely would lose their friends and they would become righteous. People fear becoming righteous because you have to go into the fire. Jesus is in the fire. And most people fear the fire. They don't want to get burned. If you count the cost, part of that cost is losing your old life. It is losing your reputation. If you start following Jesus, people will slander you. You may lose your job. You may lose your friends. But Jesus will never depart from you. He promises to be with us through trials and tribulations. He promises to be with us to the very end. He promises to be with those who endure. But you have to endure until the very end. And most Christians do not have the faith to endure to the end. Are you enduring with Jesus? And do you have the true faith? Or are you like the Christians who have the fear of men, who say they have faith, but who are unwilling to take a stand for righteousness. They're scared to be called heretics. They are scared of what their friends and family might think if they stand for the truth.